that were sent to me by our ICT director, Rachel. She said, we have had 500 businesses, over 1,000 entrepreneurs, over 50,000 traffic on our exhibition platform and social media platforms. Now, those are statistics. They sound good to my ears. And yes, I am sure we are all happy and we are all saying, wow. And yes, let me say, wow. Let me move on to say that when I started, when I opened this session on Tuesday, I started by welcoming Mabibi Nababwana to Lisema Karibuni Commonwealth Business Women Network Kenya Sokoni. Welcome to the very, very first e-market developed by women, run by women, managed by women for women in the Commonwealth. A, a feat we are really proud of. This was a project of sheer audacity. You know, when you think to yourself, what have we got to lose? Right, Rachel, what have we got to lose? The idea is great. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, what have we got to lose? We'll try again next year. But something transformed. Immediately, we said, let's do this. Something transformed. And I will get into that a little later. This 500 businesses and over 1,000 entrepreneurs came from seven different countries. The whole of East Africa was represented, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, Rwanda, uh, Nigeria, South Africa, and Lesotho, and of course, Kenya. And that is just the beginning. The vision is to have all 54 Commonwealth countries exhibiting on this platform. Because remember, our mission is to strengthen the Commonwealth. Our mission is to build businesses. Our mission is to advance women. Now, that's where the, the, the rubber meets the road, so to speak. Are we doing all that? And I shall not repeat, because Kristen, a, 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 a team member, she sort of stole my speech. She already analyzed what this platform has done in terms of meeting our vision and mission word for word. We are very, very proud of that as well. Now, to me, this closing is quite emotional because my aha moment started the very morning that we opened this session. There is a lady who came on and said, I have been selling. I have already sold long before the exhibition opened officially. For me, that was it. I was sold. It was like, we can now close shop and go home. The business is already transacting. People are already making money. That was my aha moment. Sales are being done, pocketing the money for the young woman. But I will also go backwards. Before that Tuesday when we launched this uh, Christmas online exhibition, my younger son decided, Mama, I'm going to test this thing you're doing. I said, OK, why don't you go and see if you can buy me something? And he went on the website and discovered these beautiful earrings. I had taken a video of it earlier in the week and had shared it. And he asked me, do you like these? I said, yeah, I love them. So he said, let me see if it works. And he said, I have ordered. And they have sent me a message, they will be delivered tomorrow. And you know, in my head, I said, oh, they even replied. Believe you me, tomorrow the earrings were on my desk. I came and I found earrings on my desk. And I called my son, are these the earrings? She said, yes, they were delivered. That for me was aha uh -huh, before we even launched. It works. My son, my younger son paid for the earrings, my Christmas gifts online from an exhibitor on our platform and I found them on my desk. Now, that for me, not only the platform working, but the fact that this is money in the pocket of a young woman. For me, that's the end game. We can tell so many stories, we can, you know, write papers. We can appear on forums and panels and you know, meetings. 
But if money is not entering women's pockets, then to me, that is just theory. That's just showbiz. I'm just interested in knowing that money entered a woman's pocket. So those are two. Number three, now two is, now let me still write on two. That for me is what I call impact, real impact. And what I've seen here in terms of impact is real people, real people being impacted. People from seven countries, 47 counties. I mean, we've heard West Pokot, Kajado, Siaya, and many, many more during the week. Real people, real faces, real names with real stories. Every business has a story behind it. I will not narrate all of them. The team has already gone through a few of them. So for me, that is now what's value, the impact. Number three is what Susan also touched on to, skill to scale skill to scale throughout these days from uh, Monday all the way to today, Saturday, I've been listening out to opportunities, opportunities for partnerships, opportunities for collaborations, opportunities to support, opportunities for further engagement. That we've discovered along the way through the people, panelists who spoke, the exhibitors, but skill to scale, is a way of not dropping the ball. Yes, we've given you an, a platform. Yes, you've made sales. You've actually left with money in your pocket. However, we do know that there are many challenges that business owners still face. If we tackle these challenges between this exhibition and the next exhibition, we can ensure that the businesses are scaling. So. We, we are not going to be dealing with a businesswoman or businessman where we found them every time we engage them. No, we will be now dealing with an improved, grown, educated, exposed, mature business owner. We shall be moving businesses from micro to small to medium to big. That's impact. So we will work with these exhibitors in between each exhibition, and obviously at each point they will be growing and they will be scaling. Skill to scale for me is another one of those wow ideas that came out of just interacting with exhibitors. Finally, because it's 6 p.m., finally, the team. I mean, you gotta agree with me that this is an A, team behind this game. I could say so many words about this team, but when you think of family, when you think of grit, when you think of resilience, when you think of ownership, people who have taken this project to heart, that's the A team of Commonwealth Business Women Network Kenya. If I had time, I would break it down to each and every individual. But a lot has been said, especially from the exhibitors. They are just wowed at this A-team. You may hear a few names here and there, but trust me, there are names you are not also hearing that have been part of the support system at the back. You may not hear them uh, frequently. You may also not see their faces frequently. But what I can say is Commonwealth Business Women Network Kenya, this is the A team. We have defined who we are. We have defined our culture as CBWN Kenya. And there is just no stopping us and there is no dropping the ball. To everybody, the exhibitors, you can rely on this team to walk with you from micro to small to medium to big. Thank you, thank you very, very much. We would like to end with a word of prayer and then we will close with our membership uh, video. Rose, please pray for us. Thank you. Let's bow our heads and pray. 
Lord God, our Father, it is us, your children, coming before you, dear God. We just want to praise you. We want to thank you for what you have done for us. Something that even we didn't imagine would reach those proportions. You've proved that any doubt in Thomas is wrong. We thank you, Lord, for making this such a big success, God. We know what you've done for us. You've set such a base for women in this country to trade. And this is just the beginning. We ask you to take this even to greater heights. We, have, we hear the passion of the A-team. We hear the passion of the chair lady, God. Bless her. Bless her directors. Bless her committee members, volunteers, and anybody that we don't mention here who have made this a success and are always behind her for these things to happen, God. God, we just, want, we just ask you to translate this into something that is great with an impact that will be visible beyond anything that we have imagined. And we see your hand in this. We thank you once again, God. God, for this team, Bless them with all that they need. Bless them with that energy that it is always there. And let them work as selfishly as they have done this time, God, because this is so, sorry, not selfish, selflessly. This is very selfless that what we have seen, God. Give them that grace always. And bless the work of their hands. May it add results to their own pockets and even to the pockets of all those people that they are working for. We ask you, Lord, that bless the whole Commonwealth Business Women Network, not only Kenya, but also beyond. Because if we develop here and the others don't, it will not make the difference. And we know that you're already holding people's hands to transfer what is being done here into other countries. We thank you. As we leave this, Lord, we know that you've already prepared the way forward. Bless that way that you have prepared. And bless everybody who is here, that they have a good rest and that they are fresh again to take up whatever work it is that you'll put into their hands. Bless their families. Bless all that they associate with. And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord.